What's up guys? I'm Eric Lee and you're watching 31 Accounting. And if you're new to this channel, what we like to do is unboxing and product reviews that we believe can help elevate your position on social media. Today I'll be doing an unboxing install and my first thoughts about Glide Gear. Uh, it's a teleprompter. Check it out. What's up guys? So we have this oversized box right here. Uh, let's just get right into it. I was planning on getting this actually before the new year, but it just didn't work out that way. But I've been looking forward to getting this. I kind of kind of kept putting it off. I knew it was a game changer. It was gonna help me in a lot of ways, but I really just kept putting it off. box inside of a box. Get this one out of here. Okay. Y'all see that flick of the wrist? That boy got some skills. Size another case, and that's it. Nothing else in the box. So so far, a box inside of a box inside of a box. Ooh, okay. I like this. It has like a kind of raised stitching a little bit. The logo looks pretty good. A little dusty. Uh, Velcro handle. Okay, right here it just says golden ticket and I guess it has some free stuff so you can link it to your phone. Let's get that. Ah, congratulations. So they kind of give me an extra gift. That's pretty kind of them. This talks about uh, some de free downloadable apps and uh, Paid versions, kind of gives you the install instructions. Get that right there, just in case you guys lose y'all, so y'all can use mine. Just freeze it there and reference this. Okay, this is hefty, but I love this case. Uh huh. Okay, so the whole part comes out, and then. We have another screen. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Put that aside. Don't want to break anything before I get a chance to use it. Okay, and I guess so that was the hardware, like the main structure. And this is going to be the hood. And this sets up fairly easy. Don't mind the dog. The way they did it, set it up pretty easy. But I like what's all in here. This is the, I think this is actually the extra uh, connection for your phone. I got tons of these, it's just extensive. You can actually place your phone inside instead of a tablet. But uh, I'll be using a tablet, so I'll just use this as another gear or something. You know, like you can always, repurpose something for another project use some more hardware and that's what yep that's it that's what comes in a box i'm gonna set it up and then uh i'll get back to you guys that was the unboxing now we're gonna do the install uh i'm gonna be using my trusty gagoto i hope i'm saying that right tripod um if you don't know anything about this tripod where have you been this is pretty much the best bang for your buck tripod in my opinion and I did a video and a review and all that on that. And if you can check it out, it's gonna be right up there. And uh, yeah, if you like it, check it out. So 
what I'm gonna do is I'm be installing my teleprompter on this trusty tripod. Uh, the teleprompter is pretty much two main pieces. Uh, one's gonna be your hood and then it's gonna be your main body structure with your tablet, phone, or whatever is gonna be hooked up to. And uh, this is built fairly sturdy. I mean, it feels like good product. Um, already, as you can see at the bottom, there's these rows of holes, depending on what kind of mount you wanna use. For my tripod, it goes in one of the smaller holes, so I just screwed on the base plate and I was gonna make this install fast and kind of the best way I could think I can take it apart and put it together just by leaving that little mount on there. So the biggest part is done so far. It's putting the main structure on. Now we're gonna move this up to a 90 degree angle and we're gonna install the hood. So the reason a hood is gonna be a very quick, easy install is because, all right, so you have this big flap. This this goes over this, the main structure is all Velcro and the sides are zippers. So first thing you wanna do is get the top lined up. And this is pretty strong Velcro guys. So, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, a little hard for me to do it at this angle. I wouldn't normally do it standing up, but I'll be out of frame. You guys don't want to see my belly. And if anybody's wondering why I'm wearing all gray, like I'm in a Rocky picture, I just finished working out. And so, you know, blame it on that. But I like the gray on gray. Tell me what you think. Okay, so now I'm getting the side Velcro on on this side. That's done. And that's done. Now I'm going to focus on the zippers. So, as you can see, this is a fairly quick, simple install. Um, anyone could do it. And you could do it probably a lot faster than me from this position. Because these zippers are really kicking my butt right now. All right, got that zipper. We're just going to rotate. That's why it's good to have it already set up on the tripod. Just rotate that. And hook this other side up real quick. All right, so that one's done. And now you have this one last Velcro that's at the bottom. Just flip that over and under and... All right, so now that's attached. So now you can see the main structure of the, the teleprompter. There's some other stuff that came with it like this. This is a strap I plan on not ever using, uh, but I'm gonna hang on to it just in case. There's other accessories in this bag that we went through earlier. One of these is gonna be, all right, so this little horseshoe or U-shaped object, you can see it's gonna go in here. So the way this works in general is you pull this slide out and you set your tablet in here. This little piece, if I can just get you to focus on that, this little piece right here goes right here so that way, when you put your tablet down, it has a base or a little spot to, to stop it. I don't want to lose this little bit of screw. So that one's hooked up. Now this adjusts, this little part will adjust back and forth depending on how big your tablet is. Uh, also, if you have a phone, you can actually put a phone in here too. Then you just put your tablet down here and then just slide it close. I don't have anything on it now. So now we're gonna focus on the back part. Now this little flap right here will allow you to mount your camera right here. Let me use one of my older cameras so I can show you as a display. You just sit this right up in here, screw down the mount and cover. And this will allow your camera to see through here, but as you can see, this is reflective. So if the teleprompter's showing you a display, you won't be able to see it. Uh, well, you, the audience, won't be able to see it from the camera angle, but I'll be able to read it off and really help me with getting over the words. You see what I'm saying? You get tongue-tied real quick uh, when you do a lot of videos like I do. 
or if you have a product that's you know you need to have real in-depth information about this will help this will help you not you know do a thousand takes like i normally do so i'm going to add some accessory to this and then we'll do a little video so you can see what this can be or how my setup is going to look when i'm done with this check it out all right guys so this is my setup uh, pretty quick to put together uh, i have a tablet in a place right there in the little mount real easy to put it in and close it and lock it into place i also have my <laughs> as you can see it's not hooked up this is my microphone this is the one i normally use uh, when i'm doing youtube videos it's a tax star uh, but this normally would mount into the back of the camera but since i'm using the camera to record this video i don't have like a thousand cameras like some youtubers but you know we work with what we got and i'm using that to shoot this video i also have the looms cube on here now if you ask me why i have this mounted uh, on the side and why do i have a looms cube mounted on the side uh, this is for portability so in case i want to shoot say at a different location or something it could be a portable setup. I can get a decent amount of light from this uh, from this light from the Looms Cube, and I could pretty much take it wherever I want. I also have this microphone set up outside of the hood because obviously you wouldn't get good sound or good quality if it was under here with the camera. Also, uh, and to that point, I'm using uh, a lavalier mic. Got it hooked up under the shirt, you know, backup mic. It came in handy. I did a video on this as well. Uh, but as for the setup, this setup is going to be portable, it's going to be quick to put together and I pretty much take it wherever I want in case I want to do interviews with people uh, or if I want to talk about something that's in depth, but I don't, you know, I don't want to get stumbled on my words like I normally do. Uh, so it's pretty much going to help me pretty much elevate my game on YouTube uh, for 2021. Uh, I almost said 2020. Oh, nightmare year. <laughs> but uh, that's over with, thank God. Uh, so this is my little setup. Uh, the only thing that I'm looking at right now is figuring out what apps I want to use for the teleprompter. Uh, the one I'm using right now is going to be the one that came on a little piece of paper, but I found that's not the best one. And I really don't want to start paying for it. I kind of want to plug and play so i want to use a free app so if you guys know a free app for a teleprompter let me know uh i'm going to keep looking and maybe i'll do a video update and let you guys know what i think are some of the best uh apps free or paid for for a teleprompter uh also i have a link down below for if you're in the market for a teleprompter you can check that out a uh, little money gets kicked back to me uh, it's on amazon and this is actually how i found this the glide gear was on Amazon's like the number one teleprompter. And I can see why, it was very quick to install, uh, allowed me to add my accessories on the side. Just pretty much quick little easy setup, and I enjoyed it. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, well, let me rate this right now. Install, five out of five. Uh, if you ask about the ability to put this anywhere, or install it, or whatever, it's just, it's good. It's good five out of five to me. The apps is gonna be where most of the problems might lie and you know, just gotta figure that part out. But I'm Eric Lee, you're watching 31 Account. I appreciate you, we out.